The South Dakota Showdown Series has played its final chapter, at least on the men's side, here at the Dakota Dome. South Dakota State getting a rare win uh, in this building, 79-75 on Saturday afternoon. The Coyotes were the aggressors, though, in that first half. Greg, they really came out and were playing well on both ends of the floor. They really were a credit to them, and I thought they took advantage of some energy plays, got some good spark off the bench from some different guys, Norris and, and Sparks. And at the same time, I think the momentum started to shift right at the end of the first mm -hmm. half when George Marshall kind of went on a personal 7-0 run, and they took some momentum in the locker room. Let's take a look at the hi highlights from that first half. George Marshall, as you said, he quiet much of that opening 20 minutes, picked it up late. Really did, kind of a couple of deep threes, and then got in the lane and hit a tough one. And this kid, I'll tell you what, he's uh, awfully efficient coming off the bench. But he's in, he scores, and he started off with seven points in the first half. Good spark off the bench from a couple of guys for South Dakota. Tyler Flack certainly was one of them. Clearly, and here you see the nice alley oop that just got this crowd on its feet and really kind of helped them extend the lead. Austin Sparks, another one of those guys. Very effective, efficient minutes, especially the first half. Both uh, of the big guys had six points. Uh, in that opening half, as, as Kyle's got 18 from their reserves. They're up four at the half, but Dom and the Jackrabbits were red hot to start the second. Well, you talked about it. Four of four from three point for Dom. Nice find here by Moffitt. Big time shots at, at key times for South Dakota State, but this guy was there all night with Biddle. Yeah, Jake Biddle playing his second game since coming back from an injury. Awfully, awfully good. 21 points, seven rebounds. Big free throws from him down the stretch. He was 8 of 11 at the stripe. Casey Kasperbauer quiet in the first half, found his stroke in the second. He did, had some key shots that kind of got them back from being down about seven or nine. Hit a big one there, and that's, it was, it just wasn't enough for them to get over, but Trey Norris also very effective. And we talked about Sparks and Flack, how much they did for this team off the bench in the first half. Norris really did it all day. He finishes with 12 points and five assists. We take a look at your final stats, brought to you by CU Mortgage Direct LLC. Uh, Jackrabbits really struggled from the floor, Greg, in the first half. They were just eight of 25. 15 of 28, though, in the second half, you see the percentage skyrocket, end up 43% for the day. Yeah, and they had a lot of high percentage shots, but at the same time, those critical pick and pop threes by Dom were part of that 15 for 28. Big shots at key times. Yeah, he was four for four from outside, nine three-pointers, and you can't help but, but look at that as a major part of the difference. Free throw shooting has, has plagued the Coyotes all year. It hurt him again today. It did, and, and at the same time, SDSU didn't help themselves out, but they made him at the critical right. times down the stretch. So, no, you can't afford to give away possessions and give away easy opportunities to score. Congratulations to Scott Nagy, by the way. He picks up his 400th career win. First milestone victory that he's ever had on the road. He got his first win, his 100th, his 200th, and and his 300th all at Frost Arena. Not a bad way to close out your time at the Dakota Dome if you're Scott and Egg coming here and, and, and finding a way to get just your 12th win in this building. Yeah, it, it's it's not a bad way at all. And, you know, he's the first guy that, that won't make any big deal of it because he's very humble. He's very – talks about his players, his assistants. But credit him for surrounding himself with the guys that can help him get to sure. 400. Uh, very happy for him, the dean of the coaches in the Summit League. 79-75, the final South Dakota State escapes Vermillion with a win. These teams back at it again on February 13th in Brookings. For Greg Steeman, I'm Jay Elson. Thanks for watching.